Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Your favorite analysts are here to provide their feedback on the latest happening in the world of sports. Now JFF and the Tapa Whitmore has announced a 30-man squad for the tour of Japan in June for three friendly matches but before we go into the details we see that you have been watching and liking our videos we also want you to be part of the sports dtm family by clicking that subscription button if the button is still red it simply means that you have not yet subscribed so click that button and welcome to the sports dtm family so jff has announced a 30-man squad to tour japan for three friendly matches the first match will be on June 3rd against Japan, the second match June 7th against Serbia, and the third match June 12th against the Japan Olympic team fans. They're, they included four goalkeepers, Andre Blake, Jardine White, Dylan Barnes, and Dennis Taylor. In defense, Liam Moore, Adrian Mariapa, Kemar Lawrence, Amari Bell, Wesley Hardin, Alvas Powell, O'Neill Fisher, Ethan Pinnock, Damian Lowe. For midfield, Michael Hector, Tyreek McGee, Casey Palmer, Devon Williams, Kevin Lambert, Ravel Morrison, Junior Fleming, Lemar Walker, Jashawn Anglin, Kevon Isaacs, Luca Levy. For forwards, Andre Gray, Shamar Nicholson, Blair Turgot, Javon East, Corey Burke, and Bobby Reed. That concludes the 30 man squad that will tour Japan for JFF and Jamaica Reggae Boys friendly matches on that tour. Analyst, talk to me. Yes, Kurt. Um, it's good to see the couple of players being selected as attacking midfielders. Uh, Tariq McGee's there, having a little tough time at this club, but we know of his qualities. Uh, Casey Palmer is there. Um, he's a good attacking midfielder as well, um, although we know he also can play on the wing. So that's some diversity there. And we also see Lamar Walker coming in, a nice crop of players, and that's a very good look. So let us see that these are good names to work with, and we're, we're looking forward to this, the, them, them playing um, in the matches. Ah, okay. Well, it's nice that they could announce a 31 squad. And when we look in the squad, we see some of the household names. You understand? I see a name. I see some names that I'm not familiar with. You understand? But uh, yeah. But we see some of the person that were performing, they got picked. You understand? And some were left out. You understand? I'm glad to see um, Mr. Lowe back in in the squad. You understand? And some um, other players, you know, in the in in the squad. So I'm happy that some of the also named players who have been playing years have been there so i'm happy about that i i see us i see a strong defense line which is good you understand so they say the best offense is the best defense so i see a strong defense line and that is what we want to see then we can work on the midfield the midfield is not too bad but yeah we can work with that and let's see what they can give us in june against japan and then if any changes to make, I guess Tapa can make the relative change. But I am happy that some of the, the household names are in the side. Yeah, great news, great news. Squad final has been released. We're so happy we've been waiting um, from Tuesday. But you know you know what they say, all good things come, come to those who wait. 
and we're extremely happy with the squad. Um, looking at it, just one major um, issue, no Leon Bailey at this time. And I can add Jamal Lowe as well, but we know what they said about the signing. Probably they haven't signed as yet, but overall the squad looks good. It looks good and we're happy with the squad in general. Um, we got a bonus because we thought we were getting two games, but luckily we are, we're getting three games, which is good, which is good for the players. The players need the games under their belt and good going JFF. Welcome this. Good job. Yeah, finally it's in, finally it's in. Um, one noted absent still is clearly Liam Bailey and also um, Lowe, who scored in the US game and pretty much a man of the match for, my, for me, but he's, he's a noted absent. So it's good to see Shamar Nicholson in the team, um, leading from the front. He's a, he's a prolific goal scorer. Um, one who's excellent in the air and has, has a good understanding and, of the game. Um, so Shamar Nicholson in, Corey Burke, Andre Gray and Javon East. East, of course, one of our got from the DTM bounce is in the team, and that's good too. Um, Corey Burke, uh, um, a surprising inclusion in a sense because um, we didn't have him in our in our early um, roundup, but he's in the team, and it's good to have him back also and see what he can offer. So, Corey Burke, Shamar Nicholson, Andre Gray, and Javon East, um, a formidable attacking, attacking um, option to to diversify. Um, the means of attack, you know, all up play and stuff like that. So it's good. It's good to have them. There you have it, Sports DTM fans. JFF has announced a 30 man squad to tour Japan in the next FIFA window for f three friendly games one against Japan, one against Serbia, and the third one against the Japan Olympic team. And this is great news for the JFF program and the reggae boys to get some game practice in before the Gold Cup and the World Cup qualifiers. Fans out there, we need to hear from you by leaving those comments in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on the matches and the team selection? So leave those comments in the comment section below. Always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.